Smart Culture, Mathematics. Let's take a look at some example questions. So what we have to do now is we have to solve for x in this given equation using the properties of special triangles. So let's take a look at the first equation. Here we have the square root of 3 multiplied by the tangent of x is equal to 1. So what we want to do first is we want to isolate the tangent of x and we can do this by dividing both sides by the square root of 3. So the square root above the line and below the line will cancel out. Then we have the tangent of x is equal to 1 over the square root of 3. Now the next thing that we'll do is we'll use the special triangle, the 30, 60, 90 degree special triangle. So if the side opposite the 30 degree angle is of length 1, then we know that the hypotenuse is equal to 2 and the side opposite 60 degrees is equal to the square root of 3. Now think about the tangent ratio. It is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So that means for an angle of 30 degrees in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the opposite side is equal to 1 and the adjacent side is equal to the square root of 3. So that means the tangent of 30 degrees is equal to 1 over the square root of 3. So that means in this case x is equal to 30 degrees. Now let's move on to our second example question. So you'll see that this equation looks very similar to the first equation, but the only difference is that we are now working with 2x instead of x. So we'll follow the same steps. We'll isolate for the tangent of 2x by dividing by the square root of 3. The square root of 3 above the line and below the line will cancel out. So now we have the tangent of 2x is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 3. Now x is equal to 30 degrees as validated by our special triangle. So now we have 2x is equal to 30 degrees. Now we want to isolate for x and we can do this by dividing by 2. Remember whatever we do on the one side we have to do on the other side as well. 30 degrees divided by 2 is equal to 15. So that means in this case x is equal to 15 degrees. Here we have another example. We have the equation 2 cosine of x is equal to 1. Now we have to solve for x. So what we'll do first is we'll isolate for the cosine of x and we can do this by dividing by 2. Whatever we do on the one side, we have to do on the other side as well. So the 2 above the line and below the line will cancel out. Then we have the cosine of x is equal to 1 over 2. Now you can use your special triangle, the 30, 60, 90 degree special triangle. Now consider the properties of this triangle. The side opposite the 30 degree angle is equal to 1. The hypotenuse is equal to 2 and the side opposite the 60 degree angle is equal to the square root of 3. Now remember the cosine definition is the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So for an angle of 60 degrees in the special triangle the adjacent side is equal to 1 and the hypotenuse is equal to 2. So that means x in this case is equal to 60. So x is equal to 60 degrees. Now let's move on to the next example question. Here we have 2 times the cosine of 2x plus 10 degrees is equal to 1. So this question is a little bit more complicated. Let's have a look. So first we want to isolate for the cosine of 2x plus 10 degrees. So what we'll do is we'll divide by 2. We want to get rid of that 2 in front of the cosine. So we divide by 2. Whatever we do on the one side, we have to do on the other side as well. 
the two above the line and below the line will cancel out. So now we have the cosine of 2x plus 10 degrees is equal to 1 over 2. Now we know that x is equal to 60 degrees in this case. And this can be validated using this special triangle. So now we have 2x plus 10 degrees is equal to 60 degrees. Now we want to isolate for x. So we take the 10 degrees over to the other side. 60 minus 10 is equal to 50. So now we have 2x is equal to 50 degrees. Remember, we want to isolate for x. So what we'll do now is we'll divide by 2. Whatever we do on the one side, we have to do on the other side as well. The 2 above the line and below the line will cancel out. 50 divided by 2 is equal to 25. So x in this case is equal to 25 degrees. And that's a wrap on today's fascinating journey through the world of knowledge. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our ever-growing community of curious minds. We can't wait to embark on new educational adventures together.